Hello everybody, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Super Mario Land! So, before we begin, I just want to say that because this video is going up and because I said before that my poll will be closing when the finale goes up, yeah, the poll's closed, so whatever one is going to be my seventh Let's Play. I have a good idea of what that will be. And I'm pretty sure that most of you already know what it's going to be. The last time I checked, the option that was ahead was ahead by quite a wide margin, so... That'll be fun. Anyway, welcome to the Chai Kingdom! Based off of, would you guess, China. China! Yes, China. And we have these guys. They are based off of the, uh... I believe they're called the Zhai Jing? I believe they're called uh, Zhai Jing. If I'm wrong, future Roger, can you correct me? But uh, these enemies are very unique. They're based off of these Chinese vampire zombie things? You know what I'm talking about. The ones that always stick their arms up and they have to move forward by hopping. And uh, they're interesting because if you jump on them, they don't die. They're kind of like dry bones. The, mo the more you jump on them... Jumping on them just really doesn't do any anything. Every single time you take them down, they'll come back up and try to kill you. And they're also a little bit relentless. So I please, I gotta get through here. I gotta get through. I gotta get through. Please don't kill me. I don't want to die tonight. Hmm. And the only way to actually kill him for good is to either have him jump off a cliff or hit him with a bunch of super balls. But, uh, interestingly enough, I don't consider the Chai Kingdom to be the hardest world of the game. I actually considered East Eastern... not the Eastern Kingdom, the Eastern Kingdom to be more difficult than this. I think it has something to do with there being less bottomless pits, because, as you can see right here, it's a little bit more enemy-dense, but besides that, it's... Did I seriously just kill a bullet biff by hitting the block beneath it? I didn't even know that was possible. Also, these piranha plant-like enemies, you think they come up with some cool name like, I don't know, Piranha Steve, Munching Mallet Thing, Dying to Stupid Crap, but no. When all the enemies were renamed, they were just changed to normal piranha plants. I'm pretty sure that these are the only enemies that carried over from the original Super Mario Bros. Although in the Japanese version they had a different name than normal prawn plants, so I don't know how that works. Okay, gotta make it through here. Gotta make it through, gotta make it through, gonna survive! I survived! And, uh, does this area look a little bit familiar to you? And does that area look a little bit familiar to you? Yeah, one reason why I'm a little bit hesitant to say that Mario Land is this great, amazing, perfect game like a lot of other people do is... Well... Despite the fact that there are so few levels in this game, a lot of the areas get reused. Yeah, like... The area back there with all the pipes on the ceiling and this, well not this area, but if you go back and you rewind this video, you'll notice that a lot of areas are just reused. Like this one. Okay. That smarts. And this area. In fact, you'll have them reused like right next to each other. And am I actually going to be able to make this? I made it. Oh yeah. All I had to do was hold run and move right, but I made it. That level took more, lo much longer than I thought it should, and please give me lives. Two lives, I'll take that. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't sing with the commentary. It's really unprofessional, and then that happens to you. So remember, kitties. If you think about singing along with music in your Let's Play video, j just don't. Just don't. Nobody appreciates it. Unless you're like Nathan Sharp or somebody with a really beautiful voice 
Just don't. Because you're going to die over and over and over, and people aren't going to like you, and this area was reused again! I never noticed how bad Chai Kingdom was with reusing areas. Within the same level, no doubt. There we go. We saw this very cute snake enemy that functions very similarly to those griffin enemies. Well, not really griffins, they're more just lions. From the, uh, Barbito Kingdom. Alright, I could really go for a mushroom right now. I could really go for not getting stuck in that area. I could really go for not falling down that pit. That would be fantastic as well. Can I please... Mm, Alright. Alright, I'll play by your rules, game. There we go. Come here, Goombo. Whoops! Man, I wish I had a mushroom so I could get all the cool stuff. But no, I gotta go through the piranha plants. Ever so slowly. I was practically making out with that piranha plant. How'd that not hit me? Okay. Do any of you have power-ups? No, of course not. I'm pretty sure I already checked those in my last run through here. Okay. Slow and steady, Roger. Slow and steady! Yeah! Actually, that last comment I made about the uh, piranha plants? Never mind, these discs were actually in Super Mario Bros. 3. Sure, I guess I could just damage boost through there. I'd rather have a power up on me, but that works too. Speaking of power ups. I should learn to just stop. I should learn to stop. That's all I'm gonna say. Just don't. Why did I think that wouldn't hit me? I have four lives. I swear to god if I mess this up now of all times, I'm gonna never forgive myself. not commentator's curse, I don't know what is. Alright, get the star, move through the thing, okay. Kill that guy, this area looks exactly the same like the last one. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is the same area and I died, even though it was the second time going through that, so I actually should be better prepared. Was that another check- wait, is this the checkpoint for the first round or the second round? It was a checkpoint for the second round, okay. How close am I to the end? I don't remember this level being this hard. At all. And look, it's this area again! God, what is with the Chai Kingdom and reusing pretty much the same three basic structures for its level? And the sad part is I keep dying. Even though I know exactly what's coming up. And did I actually get a checkpoint? move me more forward in the level? That's a little stupid, but I'll take it! I will readily take that. And speaking of readily taking things... Ah, <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. Oh yeah! Running right always works! Now I could really go for some lives, because spoiler alert, the super flower is useless in the next level, and you're about to see why. <laughs> oh man, I had the Eggman laugh right there. <laughs> and that wasn't even the Eggman laugh, that was more... Can I just stop not being bad? Please? Thank you. So yeah, the Super Ball is completely useless in this level because it's another auto-scroller! So how many times has that happened? The last level of Mario... The last level of a Mario level... Or of a Mario... Last level of a Mario game, I cannot even talk! I just want to survive. I have one hit, I don't want to die. 
I died. Thanks, Mouth, for cursing me. Okay. Can I please have a mushroom that doesn't fly off screen the second I get it? Please. Okay, a life works. I can take a life. For I have none of my own. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this too! But yeah, how weird is it to have the last level of a Mario game not only be specifically in the sky, specifically also being an auto-scroller, but also being a side-scrolling shooter that is only done in one other level in the game. It seems like a decision that Miyamoto wouldn't really do himself, and I'm kind of that's kind of neat. I mean, just because it hasn't really been done before and it hasn't been done since in a Mario game, it just makes it stand out a little bit more. It's not like the new Super Mario Bros. series where it just goes by the numbers and does the same exact thing over and over and over again. And I love how I'm saying that you keep seeing the same structure in this level over and over and over again. But not in that way. Can I please get through a thank you? Thank you, useless mushroom, that I'm feel like I'm gonna need right now. Mm. Of course I have to fight the boss right now. Of course, why wouldn't I? So, yeah, this is a cloud enemy. This is apparently Tatanga's second in command, which is kind of hilarious due to the fact that it's just a tiny cloud with eyes, no other discernible characteristics. But since he's dead. We gotta fight the big man himself, Tatanga! And, yeah, I was about to say this boss is a little bit crazy. Alright, can I have a mushroom? Thank you. Oh, you've got to be kidding me right now. You have got to be kidding me right now. So, yeah, time to kill this guy again. Kill this jerk. Kind of funny fighting a cloud inside an alien spaceship. But whatever. Alright, please die. Please kindly die, Mr. Cloud. I can't. I cannot. I can't even. I've lost the ability to even. Um. Can I please carry this mushroom into the boss room, please? <laughs> please? <laughs> I don't think I'm asking too much. <laughs> uh, on my last playthrough, I did that on my first try. I beat the boss on my first try, and now I can't even get through the first act. Like, I can't even hold on to this mushroom long enough to fight him. Ah. Uh, okay, slow and steady. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Slow and steady! All right, Tatanga, you purple alien bastard. This fight is a little bit crazy. He shoots off these gigantic cannonballs that turn into mini, miniature cannonballs that you can shoot at. I don't know how that hit me. It probably makes more sense in pre- whatever. I can't even words right now. So, let's do the impossible and take this into the boss room. Yes, thank you, Mario. Thank you for- Actually, uh, never mind. I should just stop talking. All right. All right, Tatanga, round three. Let's see if I can actually beat you this time. Alright, so don't actually focus on Tatanga, just focus on staying alive and let your bolts do the rest of the work. Oh, please, come on, come on, come on, just... Basically, avoid doing that. Avoid doing that and you should be fine. Oh, no, 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 thank you! How did that hit me?! How on earth? Earth did that hit me? I have one life. I am dead. 
<laughs> Never mind, I have one life now, I have to make this... I have to make this count! I have to make this count! How am I feeling now? I swear to god, if I had to beat this entire game over again... Oh my god! Slow and steady, sick. Slow and steady. That's fine, just let the birds go. Oh, okay, I see them. I see them making a beeline for me. I have two hits on me. There's the Tonga. Let's take him down. Let's save Daisy. Let's save Sarasaland. Let's stop the alien invasion. Which for some reason includes clouds and lions and fighter flies and all this other nonsense. He is actually going into the ceiling. I can't actually hit him. And yeah! Woo! <laughs> I can't believe! I can't believe! I got to the point where I had no lives left. And I had one hit left. <laughs> my quest is over. <laughs> oh my god. I seriously cannot believe how stupidly close that was. But yeah, that's Super Mario Land. A nice little short game that, while not perfect, it's still fun. It doesn't really hold up all that spectacularly now, but it was made by the legendary Gunpei Yokoi. And you know, it's really unfortunate what happened to the guy. For those of you who don't know, Gunpei Yokoi unfortunately died in a car accident in 1997. He was... What happened was, he rear-ended a truck, and then when he and the other guy got out to investigate the damage, he was unfortunately hit by two ongoing cars. So, it's interesting to think what Nintendo could have been if Gunpei Yokoi was still alive. And I know he was planning on leaving Nintendo anyway, to go pursue his own endeavors. But... Man, could you imagine what it would be like if he was still alive? But enough of that rambling. How do I feel about the game? Again, it doesn't hold up perfectly, but... For a first attempt? at a platformer on a handheld, it worked a lot better than it really could have. Like, it could have been a disaster, and obviously it wasn't. But also, there was room for improvement, which it did improve with Super Mario Land 2 and 3, and then along came the Wario Land series, and then Mario other handheld Mario titles like Super Mario 3D Land many years down the line. But if it wasn't for this game, a lot of that stuff wouldn't even happen. Hell, we wouldn't even have Wario, which is one of the best Nintendo characters to ever happen. So for all that, thank you Super Mario Land, thank you Gunpei Yokoi, and most of all, thank you, the people watching this video, for supporting me up until this point and for continuing to support me. My name is Sick. And I'll see you all in my next Let's Play. Oh, wait a minute! There's hard mode! So even though the poll is closed, and even though the seventh Let's Play has been decided, I'm going to be tackling hard mode now! So if you want to see that, keep on watching. If not, just wait for the seventh Let's Play. Whatever. It's just going to be a little fun bonus thing at the end. Next time on Let's Play Super Mario Land, we're possibly going to get our asses kicked. See you all then. Thank you all for watching.